going to talk about AutoX. As Serge just uh, introduced, we're a company working on a self-driving car. So why self-driving car? Uh, if you look at the tech revolution in the past few decades, we have personal computer, we have internet, we have smartphone. This tech revolution really changed everyone's life. It's not just a fancy tool for scientists, but it actually changed everyone's life. If you think about the future, many things are going to happen. But if you think about what is the major difference 30 years ahead from now, one of the biggest things is probably all the cars are very likely to drive by themselves. That's what made me very excited about self-driving car. And transportation is a huge segment in a human society as well. So I will see this as one of the biggest applications ever for my expertise in computer vision and robotics. Um, AutoX is a company that we started to work on the self-driving car technology. The mission of the company is to democratize autonomy. What does it mean? Here we draw an analogy with the computer technology. If you think about computer in the past uh, few decades, a few decades ago, yes, we do have computer, but each computer is so big, um, what's even more is they are so expensive. Uh, with a million dollar IBM 360 computer in a huge server room, there's only a very small number of people in the world, including like top scientists, top researchers, can have access to computation. At that time, I would say that technology is amazing, but the impact for, of this technology to the society is very, very limited. But think about, everyone, uh, think about the life today. Everyone nowadays have a $500 uh, smartphone. Uh, in that, at this stage, I would say that this is what truly made me excited about technology. It's in creating a universal impact to everyone. If you uh, think about self-driving car technology today, it's pretty much similar. Each self-driving car costs a million dollars or even more. Uh, it's much more expensive than you hire a few full-time drivers just to drive for you. So self-driving car technology at this stage, I would say it does not make much sense to the general public. At AutoX, our mission is to democratize autonomy. It's to bring self-driving car to be a, affordable, at the same time technically robust for the people, for every citizen to use. We believe self-driving car should not be a luxury. It should be universally accessible to everyone. So if you think about self-driving car, why is it so expensive? Here is a picture of the Baidu self-driving car. Each car costs about uh, 0 0.8 million US dollars. Uh, on top of it, the, the most of the cost come from the sensor. That people use high-end differential GPS, use high-end IMU, as well as uh, this monster, uh, the LiDAR. The LiDAR on the top uh, uh, is the Baidu 64 being LiDAR, costs 80,000 US dollars these days. Uh, putting aside the uh, cost, uh, putting uh, aside the cost of the lidar, if you look at the lidar data, I would say autonomous driving industry has a blind face in lidar. For example, uh, the lidar has very very low resolution. That like here is a simple question for you: Is this point cloud uh, lidar uh, part of the lidar point cloud representing a pedestrian or not? Look at here. Uh, everyone here have perfect intelligence. You may see that okay, maybe this is a pedestrian. But how about this? Is this a pedestrian or is it a Christmas tree? <laughs> in fact, both of them are actually pedestrian coming from this. A pedestrian with low resolution is still probably able to recognize. But if you want to drive your car safely, you need to you recognize some more subtle detail. Like for example, the curve of the road. If you cannot recognize the curve of the road, the car are going to drive to the sidewalk, which endanger the human uh, pedestrian. So I would say that uh, resolution really, really matters. High resolution enables detailed analysis of complex things, which is required for level five autonomous driving. And the other drawback for, uh, uh, for, uh, for LiDAR is that it only depicts the 3D shape of the object. But most complex situations in the world are actually depict by the appearance rather than the 3D shape, such as road marking, traffic signs, curves, traffic light, and so on. So at auto -X, we focus on a camera first solution. We are not against any sensors, but we are focused on using the camera, the video camera, as our primary sensor to extract most of the information out necessary for autonomous driving, for very safe autonomous driving. So we are a company focused on building the full step software for autonomous driving, which including the perception that taking the sensor input, trying to do 3D scene understanding, including the static and also dynamic object. 
as well as now you understand the physical world, you need to make a decision for the decision making, as well as plan a detailed trajectory of the car, how the car is going to drive. The last step of our full step software is to control the vehicle, to execute this plan, to control the vehicle, to actually detailly follow the plan and carry out the plan. We're a very young company. We get founded September last year for only eight months old now. And in the past eight months, we have making a tremendous progress in this area. Our company is based in San Jose in California at the center of uh, Silicon Valley, while still big enough for doing a lot of testing in, uh, for autonomous driving. Here is demonstration that we're using a purely camera-based system with no LiDAR, no radar, no ultrasonic, no differential GPS to drive the vehicle. Uh, here we saw some autonomous driving things. On the top left, uh, we're showing our car driving in things, uh, urban scenario that with a lot of traffic making turns and so on. On the bottom left, we showed our car driving uh, in, in a hilly road, making a lot of sharp turns to demonstrate that it's very important that our car can, uh, our perception system can be able to recognize the road in a very detailed and in real time. On the right, we're showing some video we taken in night time. That using camera, you are still possible to drive in night time to demonstrate uh, the, the, the power of this video-based approach. And, uh, and like I mentioned, this demo, we're using all the cameras, well, it's a very low end GPS as the OD sensor. We're not using any other sensors. But in, the, in production, of course, we're welcoming other sensors to, for integration as well. But the, the reason for where we make this demo to, to demonstrate the power of the camera, because personally, I believe that it's mostly uh, ignored or underplayed uh, by the autonomous driving industry. So uh, in the past eight months, we have built a team of very, very small team, but very good team to carry out this mission. And we're very excited to uh, continue following this path to make the self-driving technology become a reality. Uh, here is another video demonstrating uh, our camera-based system driving under different scenario. Here, uh, as you know, in California, it's actually very difficult to find a bad weather. So, so in the past two months, we finally find a day that it actually rains, and we're so excited when we jump out of the car to take a video like this. You can see that our, our camera-based camera system can actually drive quite well uh, under like, heavy rains. Um, um, you can see that here our car is actually driving in a residential neighborhood. There's no rain marking on the road. That's also make particular challenging. And after raining, uh, the, the, the road is very uh, refractic, refractic authorized. Here is another video that during the raining day that we're seeing that our car going through the bridge that make the uh, lighting very dark and then very bright again. Uh, but it still demonstrates that this camera-based system is possible to work. And some of you guys can probably recognize where we're driving, uh, doing this test demo. Uh, the logo says here is the city of Cupertino. OK. Uh, as I mentioned, we're a very, very young company, uh, but uh, at, this, at the very early stage, we're still demonstrating the potential for this camera-based system. Um, that's it. Thank you very much.